Radio Medium is made possible by our sponsors, your hometown lawyers, Kanowski Bresney, Washington Square Realtors, who turn houses into homes, Ottawa's WRWO 94.5 FM, and Beth Jordan Productions, plus many fine individuals contribute their talents to this broadcast. If you'd like to sponsor our program and share your message in exchange for a tax deduction, contact us at RadioMediumLawLead.com. Find insight, guidance, and answers. answers. Tune into Spirit with Radio Medium, Laura Lee. Laura Lee. Lord Lee tuning in to Spirit for my special listener, Annette, who emailed a very important question. And let me just preface, this question came in and was answered to her prior to what is happening in our world right now. So she writes, it feels like the new year is going to bring some changes for me. Do you see anything more specific regarding my healing work with clients and students? Thank you so much for everything you do for others. Many blessings to you, Annette. First of all, Annette, thank you for your kind words. Always lovely to hear. I see that 2020 is the year you're going to integrate your healing work with human clients with the animal kingdom. And this is very specific to you. And I sense that you're developing as an animal communicator and you instinctively know you have this gift, but your work with the two realms are compartmentalized and they are both your passions and they're not separate parts of you. So I want you to stop treating them as they are. So merging them into your whole being will do wonders for your soul as well as help those that seek out your help. And you may already have started doing this without thinking about it so much, but it's going to become a more conscious part of your practice. And it doesn't mean you'll come straight out of the gates talking to animals like a Dr. Doolittle. I know Robert Downey Jr. just had a movie like that, but it's going to offer a alternative approach so that clients can relate to your messages that seem most important. And you're going to bridge the communication gaps between these two worlds and unite them in harmony. Finally, the other part of this message is that you've got to take better care of yourself for your work to evolve. And that is be kinder to yourself through the process as you shift your healing work. And you don't have to try so hard. Just make sure you're getting all the rest. And that includes relaxing, even if it means to meditate, eating nutritionally, and exercises are basic to increase your energy and vitality to make those connections possible for the people you're going to be doing work for. So anytime you feel drained, I want you to take a step back and reconnect to yourself because usually it's a basic need that's depleted. Because most importantly, it sounds like you're an empath who takes on other people's stuff and it would benefit from you to do some sort of clearing exercise, even if it means a ceremonial bath to close out your day. I hope that helps, Annette, and many blessings to you on this journey in 2020. If you have a very important question you'd like for me to answer, please go to Radio Medium Lorley and submit it under email reading. And while you're over there at the website, don't forget to subscribe, follow, or share our show. You can do so on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter is where we can be found. 